Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here, and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. This is Mono Green's Counters deck, which largely, largely relies on trying to get out Vorinclex the Monstrous Raider. The Phyrexian Praetor that's basically considered one of the best cards in the game at this point. So it's Trample and Haste, and if you put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many counters of those kinds on of counters. A lot of text. <laughs> on that permanent player instead, you can double the amount of counters you, you put on your creatures, and you can half... The amount of counters your opponent gets. Now this also works from enchantments and uh, saga enchantments, which is why it's considered so good. You've also got four copies of Swarm Shambler, so plus one plus one counter on it. Tap to add another one, and then if it gets target of a spell, you create a Walk of Green Insect Token creature. Three copies of Primal Might to deal with some removal. Four copies of Ram Through as well, and Inscription of Abundance, which hopefully we can get a kicker for that, since on kicker it's only four, five even. Once I learn math, three copies of Inscription Abundance, four copies of Nessing Horn Beetle, four copies of Ram Through, four copies of Scavenging Ooze, or to eat things in the graveyard and get plus one plus one on one life, three copies of Oren Refus, three copies of Yovo Lord of Garenbreg to gain counters continuously, three copies of Blessing of Frost is pretty much the reason why I have snow covered uh, lands, so that um, play Blessing of Frost and distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of creatures you control. Where X is the amount of snow spent to cast this snow mana cost spent to cast this smell. The smell? <laughs> okay. Cast this spell. Then draw a card for each creature you control with powerful or greater. We got Questing Beast as well, you know, massively high value card. And the two copies of the Great Change. So the two kind of like mythic rares we got outside of Questing Beast, we've only got two copies of each. So it, hopefully we'll be able to draw into them. We've got 18 Forest and four Castle Garenbreg as standard. So we're gonna go into the play uh, the rank queue. I've tested this deck out, it is very, very powerful on a roll, but it is susceptible to getting some of its early creatures completely removed out of the game by early game removal. So we'll just have to see how we go. We should be alright, it's a very powerful deck once it gets going. It'll be very difficult to stop. Only difference I would possibly change, I'll talk about that at the end. So, anyway, let's get into the games. can live with this, I just need a third land. So we're on the draw here. So play a Swarm Shambler. Make the bear wave. That's fine. Interesting. Attack in here. So we've got some blockers in the form of the insects. Probably going to play Inscription of Abundance next turn if possible. Okay. Yep, I've seen this trick. Right. There we go. Big hits. We 
get there. Get there. Blessings of Frost. Oh, I've got Vorinclax as well. Bye bye. And there you go. See? Build up huge, get a big hit in. So we'll move straight on to the next game. We will move straight on to the next game. That's a really good hand, actually, and it has Vorinclex in it. So play the forest, play the Swarm Chamberler. I mean, if we get a Nessian Horn Beetle, that'd be great. Just saying. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Skip the attack, play Castle Garambreg, play Orm Refus. Run around with it. Okay. I guess it didn't go as well for them. I probably shouldn't leave this in, but I'm going to leave this in just because we'll just quickly move on. This hand is fine, it just needs a third land. Famous last words. Well, it needs more than two lands, actually. Yeah, I'm keeping in that last game just for the uh, padding reasons, just to explain why I've got an extra... Uh, <laughs> an extra uh, marker on the plat school. Alright. Light step past. So this is probably going to be Rakdos, then. So I suspect me, poor old Nessie and Hormethal won't last very long. There we go, there is the third land. So we're gonna scry or are we just gonna sit here? I need to know because it's kind of important. There we go. There we go. Finally. I probably shouldn't bitch as much as I do, but, like, if you know they're going to do it at some point, you know, picking your time to do it this early in the early in the game is, to, I mean, to... Ooh. Oh. Ew. Interesting. So if we get a fourth land here, we'll be good. Square again. Perfect. I'm assuming they probably got board wipe. Um, I can play Blessing of Frost necessary if necessary. I've got a ram through if they play anything huge. Oof. I think they can't really save themselves here. Yeah, they can't really save themselves. Yep, this is good beforehand. I had a ram through just in case. Um, So, yeah. That went pretty well. So, we'll just move on. That is some good curve right there. I just need a third land and I'm golden. Please don't screw me, game. Down the little swarm shambler. Put down the nasty horn beetle. Lord old card. So we. Now let's go with your vote, Lord of Garenbrick, first. Get the hit in, and then we'll go with the one refuse. Okay.
All right. So. Day, my minions. I grow strong. You grow weak. Now we're just going to eat. We're going to eat, and we're going to eat, and we're going to eat. Get rid of that anyway. Your graveyard. Eat the uh, Nessian Horn Beast. Do you have anything that can literally block? Okay. We're doing things my way. Om nom 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 om nom 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 Fucking that's so old now. Go for the jugular. I better not be a creature. Please break your hand. That's all I ask. <laughs> yep, and they're done. They obviously couldn't get anything on the board to block. That was actually extremely funny. Eventually, I just managed to whittle him down by just making sure I had enough to eat. <laughs> all right, move on to the next game. Yeah, this hand is pretty good. So I can drop the Nessing Horn Beetle on turn two, go into Yorvo, and then sort out from there. Uh, we are down one... Ooh, that's perfect. We are down, like, one place because I ended up playing a game where I got land flooded. I think I had to scoot by, like, turn three. Because I started with, like, three land and then kept drawing land. And I only had, like, a, like really high-cost monsters, which would have been fine had I actually, like, got them later. But, yeah, I ended up having to scoop on, like, turn three because my opponent got complete board control. So we'll play Yorvo next and then roll with it. That's all five colours, right? So we're going to foretell here. I have a feeling that might be board wipe, so I do need to be careful. Get the attacks in. Oh no, shrines! Oh god. Um... I don't know why I'm going to put the counter there specifically, but I want, but I want to. Oh, we might have won. I don't know whether I can say we've won next turn. If they have board wipe, they have board wipe. Huh. Oh, they, they have coma. Nice. Yeah, they're done. They didn't. I, I was about to say, if they have board wipe, they have board wipe. If they don't have board wipe, well, we basically won next turn. And they didn't have board wipe, so we'll just move on to the next game. I can live with this hand. Like scavenging ooze into ore and reef ooze, and then we'll just roll with it. We do need a land, but. Should be okay. 
Hopefully being on the draw won't affect us too much. There's a third land. Laser scavenging ooze. Interesting. I'm assuming he'll block here with the Jara Blight Blade, but I want him to do that because I need to get his board clear. Interesting. Plays Roiling Regrowth. So I'm assuming this is a mega ramp deck then. Ultra cheese there. Get him for four. I'll just play scavenging using just eat, 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 eat. So we'll have to see how we play it. Looks like they're running. Yeah. Get him for four here. This dude really needs to draw a creature. Get rid of the Tajara Blade Blade for. Oh, I can get rid of both, can't I? We go, so we'll leave him on two life. I appreciate that. Yep, and then he scoops. He's kind of done then. So we'll play one more because some of these games have been quite short and we'll see if we can get to plat tier 3. So we'll end it here. Bit of a risky keep this one, but we will keep it. I kept on waiting a bit longer there. Um, I was just sending a text. Um, <coughs> so yeah, we'll just see how he's playing. and Go from... Yeah, play the, the Nessian Hornbeetle first.
bait some removal. So we'll take, we'll have to take three here, won't we? So I'm playing any earlier angels. Drop that here. We'll probably use Swarm Shambler to block the Cleric. And then just drop the Questing Beast. So. Yeah, another Starman Aspirant. Uh, yeah, we'll get the block in here. Big. Yeah, I thought we might see that one. Fucking hell. Because of course they've got removal. We're going to have to use the other Nessing Hornby LeBlanc. I think I'm just going to get slightly out pressured here. So that's unfortunate. So, unfortunately, this could be the end of the winning run. Um, We're done. So that's side side. I can use I can get the block in for the uh Oh, they're only gonna attack through the air. Okay. We'll see what we draw next. Ah, that could be useful. So we'll drop in here. So get that off. So no attacks for now. So it depends on what my opponent's going to do here. I could really use another questioning beast, to be honest. Force them to block it. They're just deciding their move. Huh, that's clever, actually. Using Heartless Act to remove the counters. I'll probably use Yorvo here to block the Cleric. I actually think they wouldn't attack with the cleric, wouldn't it? I 
just going to throw everything I have at them. It's probably going to be the death of me to Clarice the Life Bomb. There's not actually a lot I can do here. Yeah. There wasn't really much I could do, otherwise I'd just have to be sat on the defensive the whole game and slowly lose to Feria. Because they were continually gaining health. Um, I would have had to either use a ram through to destroy the um, cleric or to try and get to the Feria so they couldn't def uh, block me. So I think I was already screwed there, but we'll leave it there. So yeah, this deck is incredibly strong when it gets going, but you do need to get the counters ticking up early. If you can't get that, you can fall kind of far behind to maybe... Decks that can look, do counters in different ways, but they can do it faster. So you saw the game at the end there. The Clarix of the Light Bond was able to completely outvalue me because I couldn't get my counter game going early. So, but when it does get going, it's incredibly difficult to stop. You can get a very, very big attack force very quickly. Um, so unless your opponent is packing a lot of removal or board wipe, they can pretty much face losing by turn three or turn four, as a lot of my opponents did in this video. I think this deck is really strong. Certainly recommend taking it into ranked. I'm probably going to play a couple more games of it outside, see how far I can get with it. But other than that, just be aware of being kind of out-pressured at any early game removal um, that can stop you before you can get started. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Bear Run, and thank you for watching.